Rated PG-13. What's up, guys? Middle Age Gamer here. We're playing Sell Away, the selling simulator today, and we're gonna go ahead and get back into activities and get into the challenges. As you guys know, I just completed controlling your sheet, which I don't know if that was meant to sound like that or not. This menu system sucks, by the way. I can't even get over it. There we go. It's like backwards. So this says, pop along to Monaco and take the glorious French Mediterranean. Estimated distance is four nautical miles. Takes about 40 minutes. Called the French Riviera. I don't know what happens when you hit. So the cell is still not raised. So how do we do the main cell? That's what I want to know. Oop, that's not the right view. Is it the main halyard, right? Or is it the gin maker? All right, let's point the boat against the wind to the left just a little bit and see if we can raise it. There we go. Still need to get that to come out. Come on out. Make that 100%. And let's go ahead and turn the boat, and then we can adjust this right here. I'm going to get face in the right direction at least. Wish me luck, guys. I'm actually picking up some speed finally. So I need to move this. I feel like we need the uh, the other sheet up too, though. Cause we're not getting any speed with this baby. Can I move which direction this goes with this? There we go. That's not what I wanted. I'm so, uh, top of the main cell is too tight. Try to ease the veins or pull the traveler. So let's pull the traveler this way. And if we adjust this, Try to ease out the outhaul. I don't even know what the outhaul is, to be honest with you guys. I feel like it's pretty close. The main cell is too flat. Try to ease the outhaul. What if I just take out the jib halyard? I feel like this baby would do more. Now we're moving 2.8, that's a little better, right?
The main is still not working properly from what I see. There we go. Doing three nautical or three knots right now. I need to get that to at least six if I can. Tip is lower the jib and raise the gin maker. Oh, so we should be using the. So we need to not be using the jib at all, is what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and lower the jib. Let's raise the gin maker like it says, see if that helps out or not. So I don't know when I'm supposed to use what sheet or any of that. Okay, so let's do the gin maker this time. I think it's this first, right? There we go. Now we're doing over six already. Jesus. So we should be able to ease the traveler from the looks of it. Try to ease the outhaul. I don't know what that means. We're flying though. We're doing seven nautical miles, which is good. Or seven knots, not seven nautical miles, sorry. All confused. This is what you call noob selling right here. I'm still learning, guys. Try to pull the vange or ease the travel. Where's the vange? Vang. Vang, vange, whatever you call it. There we go. Let's try if we can mess with this little rope. Huh, okay. Can't mess with that. It's pretty close to where the lines are for the wind, though. Like that gin maker could be adjusted a little bit. It looks like it's flapping a little bit in the front there. Let me uh, let me go back and see if I can adjust that at all. So the gin throw maybe can adjust it. Oh, that's a different sheet right there. Don't want to mess with that. Gin maker halyard. Gen Genoa. Okay, so that's a gin maker and Genoa is two different things. How do I tighten up or change the uh, the gin maker or can I? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I need to change that sand. sand. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Definitely want to change the game I'm playing. Not that it really matters. Yeah, that's why I still have 17 people watching me play this. <laughs> I want to change the game I'm playing. Not that it really matters. Let me matters. edit that real quick. Yeah, that's why I still have 17 people watching me play this. <laughs> there we go. Just change the game I'm playing for you. There we go. Losing speed. So I'm going to have to adjust something. Let me try to adjust the main cell if I can.
losing speed right there. It's kind of like we have two cells doing the same thing, so if this one is doing it, the front one's kind of uh, not getting enough wind through it, if that makes sense. So our first waypoint's right there. And we're going all the way down here to my Carlo, it looks like. Where are we at? Jesus. Okay, so we're just off the coast of Italy right now. About a 45 minute journey or so. Almost doing seven knots, which is pretty good for a noob sailor. What up train dude, how's it going? Glad you're still here. Yeah, it's 45 minutes total is what it says. We're only six minutes into it, so. I don't want to change anything because we're almost doing seven knots. If I can figure this out, the top of the main cell is too far open. Try to pull the vanes or ease the traveler. Maybe I could do a reef? Would a reef do it or not? I don't know if I want a reef or not. Look over here. So the cell should automatically be adjusted, so I can't change that. But the top of the main cell is too far open, too. Try to ease the out haul. So close. It's a good train, dude. I don't know what the first. I'm gonna see what the reef does. I don't know what it does. Is the boat healing too much? I don't think it is. Losing speed, I know that. Oh, I don't want to do that. What did I just do? I right, get into a turning point at least, which is good. We'll keep going. There we go. This boat's at a forty five degree angle. Let me look. I get the uh there we go that's the view I was looking for no nah, it doesn't seem like it's leaning too far over seems to be doing pretty good right I'm assuming that my cells are set fairly correctly 
on the selling vessel Sadie out of San Antonio, Texas. At least as far as I can tell. I don't really know. We're about 10 minutes in. And we're only going down here. And we have 45 minutes to make it there. So I want to say we're doing okay. Yeah, I think if the boat was leaning crazy, that's when you would start using the reef settings. Oh, see, I didn't want to do that. I don't know what I just did either. <laughs> Whoops. Shouldn't be hitting stuff. I don't know. We're, we're pulling close to uh, seven knots right now. Ooh. I didn't see that tip down there. I should have read it. So we're going to have the wind directly to our back coming up from the looks of it. There's the buoy we have to go around. Let's put this all the way out, maybe? None of it's getting any wind. It's like this main cell is completely pointless at this point. Unless I could flip it around somehow. Can I pull it to the other side, maybe? So I don't want it to go that way. I want it to go the other way. Can I flip the way the cell goes? Main cell is completely pointless. This isn't. It? We're directly downwind, doing five knots, which again is not bad. Let's see what it is when I open it up all the way. Oh, here we go. That's what we needed to do right there. I can get someone on the other side or no? Oh, we just flipped both cells. There we go. Can we open up another cell on the other side or no? Hey, look, let me try the jib halyard to see if we can open this up. Nope. Unfortunately, we can't. I feel like we should be doing way more than five knots. What's our uh, wind speed? Is 13.5 true wind speed. Main cell is too flat. Try to ease the out haul. Main cell is too flat. Try to ease the outhaul. Ooh, what? Good news is we're moving. <laughs> Sand, fuck these strings. <laughs> Can you touch? I can't grab the bar, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would totally do that. So 
So we're 15 minutes into it. I really won't know how good or bad we're doing until we get closer to where we're going. We're just going to right there, basically, and my cell keeps flipping both ways. Well, we got some good speed on us. Relatively calm seas. Hey, yeah, D-Rec. I'm drinking the uh, Shock Top right now, which is basically, they both have Belgian wheat and also summer shandies or lemon shandy beers. So shout out to uh, some Blue Moon. It's also good. At the uh, soccer games, they used to mix the Blue Moon with uh, another craft beer, and it was actually really, really good. I forgot what they mixed it with offhand, though. Uh, I just said some t something about the telltales. What is a Cunningham? Can't F write it anyways. Should I reef in the uh, the cell to speed up? Would that make me speed up or not? Let me try reefing it in a little bit. See what happens. I don't know what I'm doing at all. I think I'm just pulling in that main cell a little bit. I have no clue what the, re the reefing does, not gonna lie. I think that's only if I'm leaning too much. So we got the Genoa. I don't think I can release the Gin Maker, can I? No, that's that. Uh, I want to keep that one out. Oh wow! I can release this one out. <laughs> this might be a bad idea, but let me release that one. My speed's going down like crazy. Let me uh, not do that. I want to keep that. Ugh, what is the other one I need to take down? This one? There we go. Let's bring that baby back in. Okay. Alright, Sam, so I'll see you here in a minute. A little bit off course. How can we pull in the main cell? Let's see if that actually works better. Main halyard, maybe? Oh, that's the reef. Maybe this one? Hit the point against the wind before you can raise or lower the main cell, which I'm almost pointing against the wind. <laughs> I'll just leave it up. Obviously, I'm doing almost six nautical mo or six uh, knots right now, which is decent. I think I make pretty decent time. About 20 minutes into the uh, the challenge, and I think we can make it there in 25 minutes, but we'll find out. And we'll start to wonder if it'd be better to go back and forth, kind of against the wind a little bit. Let me try to move it farther right and see what happens.
I think we're doing 5.5. .5. Let's see what this gets us real fast. I think it's still going to be about the same regardless. Let's pull this all the way back. See what kind of speed we get without the main cell. Seven. Yeah, Drek. We uh, we finished up train sim probably about 30, 35 minutes ago or so. Did a game giveaway as well. Hence why we are down to ten, about fourteen, fifteen viewers. So that's not working. Let me open up the main cell a little bit. Definitely want to be doing over five knots if I can. Now we're losing more speed. That should bring us above five, hopefully. Definitely need to get on speed or a uh, sailboat to learn how to do all this. I think I was doing better when I was going kind of with the line. The difference between 4.7 and 5.5 .5 is quite a bit over time, so. Alright, train man, take care, man. Have fun with some uh, American train sim. Or American truck sim, sorry. I said American train sim. I've been drinking a little bit. I wonder if the weather's getting a little better. I'm starting to see some uh, swell. Just got a splash of uh, rain in her eyes as well. The top of the main cell is open too far. I don't know how we would fix that. On this side, I think it's on this side. The main cell. The main out hall. That's not it. I don't know how to raise and lower the main cell offhand. So we have the gin maker. Is it the Genoa Frol? No. The main halyard is what it would be, right? Let's try that. It says point the boat against the wind before you raise or lower the main cell. So we can't do that. So the Genoa or Gen Maker is too tight. changes anything that's how much is out so how do we adjust the trim on it maybe with that would it Just that. Gin maker sheet is too tight. Try to ease it until the tell tells are even. Jesus, I don't know. This is com confusing stuff right here, is all I can say. That's not the gin maker, that's the Genoa. Maybe if I go up there by it, there's a line I can hit. I don't know. Possibly. In fact, it's this red line. I 
Where does this red line go? Is that it? That might be it right here. Hey, there it is. Alright, so... Let me ease it out a little bit. There we go. Now we're making some, uh, some difference right there. Our speed should hopefully pick up. We were at 5.4, 5.3. The main is still having a little bit of issues though. Now to figure this guy out would take probably a little bit longer, wouldn't it? So I don't want to adjust that. What is this? Can't adjust that one. The top of the main cell is too far up open. Try to pull the vang or ease the traveler. Let's try to ease the traveler. I mean, letting this out. So I didn't do anything. Ooh, I need to start going the right direction now. So the gin maker is good. Main cell is not. Main cell is too flat. Try to ease the out hall. There's the main out hall right there. If we can adjust it, be this right here. Can't operate this. Let's go to options gameplay. So let's try that. Options, gameplay, let's go ahead and do advanced. And see if that makes any difference at all. There we go. So I ease the outhaul as much as possible from the looks of it. I'm doing 5.6 knots, which is good. If I pull this in. Yeah, so I need to release it more. Maybe reef the bottom? Is that would be that be the first reef right there? Let me see what this does. Changing anything with the actual cell. Alright, sped it up though. Considerably. Or did it? What up, Fruit Jay? How's it going? Doing pretty good. So, reefing it a bit gives me above six knots. Let me go. A little bit more on the first reef to see what happens. We'll go down to 50. And then the vang. Where's the vang at? The main vang is over here. Let's try pulling that and see what happens.
pretty good fruit J. Definitely like the uh, 1.4 update. The frame rate's much, much better. And uh, of course, the new livery is pretty awesome as well. Why are we only doing 5.6 all of a sudden? Let me get back to the right. I just want to make sure we're heading in the right direction. how the gin maker's doing. Gin maker's good. The main's still up. I don't know how to raise this up a little bit. The main cell is too far open. Try to pull the vangs or ease the traveler. that does if anything I'll be honest with you welcome back sand doing okay I feel like I should be doing much better at this point we're 32 minutes into it it's supposed to be a 45 minute journey I don't think I'm gonna make it there in 45 minutes the way things are going and I simply don't know how to adjust my main cell is really what it comes down to It's really because the main cell is too flat. Try to ease the out haul. So there's the main out haul. Let's ease that out. Out haul is completely out. So now the top of the main cell is too far open is what it's saying. Try to pull the vang or ease the traveler. Where's the vang at over here, right? I'm gonna pull a little bit of this. Ah, oh, we're almost doing above six knots now, which is really good. Try to pull the vang a little bit more. Now it says easy out haul. It's the only thing else it wants me to do. Which is this, that's completely eased out. Unless there's another one over here I can do. I'm gonna take off the reef. There we go. Now we're on point with both cells currently. About time, Jesus. I'll know how to do it next time, but man, that's gonna be horrible. There's no way I'm gonna get under 45 minutes, I don't think. I got 10 minutes to get there. We shall see. Definitely learning the hard way, that's for sure. Speed's going down 5.6. Try 
True wind speed still 13.4, 13 13.5, somewhere in that area. I think we're just losing true wind speed. Speed's right here. It's 5.4 knots currently. But I'm in a position to get above 6 with what I, what I have going on, I believe. screenshot from a different angle there we go down to five knots gym makers kind of flapping around gym maker sheets too loose let's get over here Forgot, was it the Genoa Halyard? No. Let's see if I can adjust that. I don't think that's going to pull it in. It says raise the gin maker? What? Like pull it up all the way? I don't know if I want to do that. Let me let it out, see if I get more speed or not. There we go. Now we're almost back to six knots with that. I think we're good now. Let me look at the map. We're getting really close. I see the little buoys up ahead. We're almost at the 45 minute mark too. Again, I don't think we're going to make it within 45 minutes, but you never know. Considering how many problems I had, I, I could definitely make it a lot quicker next time around. I think I've learned a lot so far. Not enough to get on my own boat, but uh, enough to redo this scenario and do a decent job doing it. Boat's kind of rocking around with the swell. Trim is pretty good on everything right now. About as good as it's going to get. Doing some coastal sailing off the uh, Italian Mediterranean coast. Definitely making some good time right now. I may actually make it under 45 minutes too, which is absolutely amazing considering how bad I am at this game. So, uh, We're selling to basically Monte, Monte Carlo. or pretty close off the coast of Monte Carlo. Let me see if I can show you real quick where we're at on the map. In case you're wondering. I think go way, way out. So you guys can see where we're actually at. Right there. There's Italy. There's Europe. Gives you kind of an idea. There we go. Beat it. 40, under 45 minutes. 
40 minutes, 1 seconds. I think I do a lot better next time around. Anyways, if you guys are watching on YouTube, that's going to be it for this video. I definitely appreciate you for watching. Make sure to go to twitch.tv slash gamer and click on the follow button to watch my future live streams. If you guys are watching on the live stream right now, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Definitely appreciate everybody for watching tonight. We got up to over 40 people playing Transcend World. And uh, we actually have still, looks like 17, 18 people watching Selling, which is pretty crazy considering this is a pretty extreme simulator if you ask me. Anyways, take care of everybody and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Cheers and uh, don't die. Don't you know